Hey everyone, this is Tally with TGN.TV bringing you an updated Protection Paladin tanking rotation video. Here we will discuss single target tanking rotation and AoE tanking rotation. Now let's discuss the three major changes that we have here before we even get into the rotation. The first change is that the proc from Grand Crusader when you hit Avenger Shield actually grants you holy power. One holy power point. Let's make that clear. So let's go ahead and hit Crusader Strike until we get that Grand Crusader proc. And uh, this, will, what it does is basically generates uh, holy power faster, uh, which leads to faster shield of the righteouses, which leads to more DPS, which leads to more threat, which is an overall amazing change that uh, Blizzard devs have made this time around. Kudos to them on this one. Um, we're going to wait till we get that Grand Crusader proc. So I'm going to just keep it in Crusader Strike until um, we get that GC going. Um, and you'll see the other changes also involve Avenger Shield as well. So Avenger Shield is basically your friend. Here we go. Grand Crusader proc. I'm going to hit it. And bam. It generated a holy power point as you saw right there. Which led to my next attack being a uh, Crusader Strike. Which means I didn't have to wait an entire global cooldown for me to generate holy power. It happened consecutively. So this all leads to more Shield of the Righteous um, damage. Which is what we want while we're tanking. Which generates our most threat. Does our most damage. Now, let's discuss the second change, which is that Avenger Shield grants Sacred Duty procs. Before, it was Judgment. Now, it's both. It's Judgment and Avenger Shield both give you a Sacred Duty proc, but it lasts only 10 seconds now, whereas before, it lasted 15 seconds with just Judgment being the Sacred Duty generator. Now, let's go ahead and uh, show you that. Avenger Shield... We haven't gotten it yet, so I'm going to hit Judgment. Judgment will eventually proc Sacred Duty. As you saw right there, it's 10 seconds. Uh, by the way, I will post my power auras for you guys uh, in the description, uh, so you guys can go ahead and mess around with that. I'm pretty sure we have a power auras video somewhere. Let me see Avenger Shield. Not yet. Uh, we're going to wait till Avenger Shield actually grants us Sacred Duty, so I can basically show you guys exactly what I mean. I'm using uh, Seal of Insight, by the way, only because I don't like to run out of mana while I'm on these test dummies, so I like to keep that up. Usually, you would be using Seal of Truth. So let's hit our, there you go. Uh, I just hit Avenger Shield, and it granted us Sacred Duty. Now, the next change is one that wasn't even mentioned in the actual uh, notes from what I saw. Uh, before, when you had Sacred Duty active, uh, let's say, let's see if we can proc Sacred Duty. We'll get it eventually. Uh, when Sacred Duty was active, and let's say you had three Holy Power Points, one or two, and you hit your Shield of the Righteous, if your Shield of the Righteous parried, miss, or dodged, it would use your Sacred Duty no matter what, and it would be bad, because what would happen is uh, you'd have to generate uh, another Sacred Duty proc in order to get a nice little Shield crit. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Uh, let's see if we can get some sort of Sacred Duty proc going here. Come on, Sacred there we go. So I'm going to hit Shield of the Righteous. It's probably going to hit. There we go, for 17k. Now, we're going to wait until we get uh, Sacred Duty again. There it is. And now, I'm going to go ahead and hit Shield of the Righteous. It's still hit. I'm going to wait till we miss, parry, or dodge. That way, you'll see what I'm talking about. Before, it used to miss, parry, or dodge by hitting Shield of the Righteous, and it would use up your Sacred Duty, which would be worthless. Um, so, we're going to wait till we get a proc here. Here we go. Hits again. I'm. I'm trying. I'm. Come on. I only have two percent hit rating here. There's no way I can fail at this. Oh, it's. Oh, you know what? Because this is a level sixty trading dummy. I apologize. Maybe I will miss more on the big daddy over here. Yeah, baby. Now let's see what happens. Let's wait till we get our. Here we go. There you go. I parried with Shield of the Righteous, Sacred Duty. Nothing happened. I hit it again. And Shield of the Righteous worked. Thank you, normal Raiders training dummy. The reason I was using the other one is because someone was already using this one. And I like to have the training dummies to myself. But what can you do? I can't stop other people from doing what they want to do and maximize the DPS. That's a whole other conversation. Anyway, so that's basically the third major change. Uh, let me get let me put my gear back on. That would be the third major change being that um, no matter what, Sacred Duty will only expend itself if you actually hit with your Shield of the Righteous. And it will stay up there until you get a hit. So it's okay that if you uh, parry, miss, or dodge with Sacred Duty up, don't worry about it. Just keep hitting Shield of the Righteous until you actually hit, and it will hit. So that's basically what I was trying to say. Now let's go into our normal rotation here. The Rogue's going to start off over there. I'm going to go back to the level 60 training dummy because I like these. They're next to each other. It'll show you guys the AoE tanking part of everything. 
Um, so with single target tanking, basically what you want to do is you want to pop your wings, which and you want to pop divine plea, which will give you three holy power points at the beginning of the fight, which is what you want. Uh, and what you do next is kind of important. You want to either choose Avenger Shield or you want to choose Judgment at the beginning of the fight. I would rather choose Avenger Shield because it does more damage, uh, especially if you're glyphed into it and it's only a single target fight. So let's go ahead and uh, you're going to see how Avenger Shield, the Grand Crusader proc with the Holy Power Generation, uh, is now better for tanking. Um, it makes us do more damage, makes us do more threat, because we are generating Holy Power faster. Uh, we are using up less GCDs to get to Shield of the Righteous, and that's our main goal, is you always want to get three Holy Power points, use Crusader Strike whenever it's available, and you always, always, always use Shield of the Righteous whenever you have three Holy Power points. Uh, sometimes people choose to fish the uh, sacred duty proc like they'll they'll wait out their three holy power points until they proc it But I wouldn't do that. That looks like a DPS loss to me. I haven't exactly done all the number crunching Let's go ahead. I'm gonna pop wings. I'm pulling the boss Avenger shield to start the fight shield of the righteous Crusader strike now we're starting a rotation Crusader strike judgment Crusader strike holy wrath because nothing else is available Crusader strike three holy power points shield of the righteous again Crusader strike judgment Crusader Strike, Crusade, um, Avenging Wrath, Crusader Strike, Shield of the Righteous, Crusader Strike, Judgment, and it's just basically, like I said, Crusader Strike whenever it's available, in between, you want to make sure you always prioritize Avenger Shield and Judgment, so here we go, Crusader Strike, Avenger Shield, Crusader Strike, Shield of the Righteous, Sacred Duty proc, big hit, Crusader Strike, Judgment, Crusader Strike. Grand Crusader proc. We got to it quicker. Bam. With Sacred Duty. Another one. So as you can see there, that was a perfect example of us generating Holy Power faster. Um, at a faster rate than normal. By one uh, global cooldown. So we're going to go ahead. Now we're going to hit our Grand Crusader proc. As you and the, you see where, where I'm getting at, guys. Here's where the rotation changes. Is you you basically getting two straight global cooldowns that generate Holy Power to get to your Shield of the Righteous faster. And uh, I believe it's a big change. And that's something you guys have to realize and you have to work on. Because sometimes you don't see that uh, Grand Crusader proc. And you ha now you have to actually be aware of it. So basically, uh, let's do it one more time. We're going to wait till the 25 seconds is up. And we're going to start with the rotation again. Now, my last video, I started with Exorcism. Now, starting with Exorcism is nice, but it actually drains a lot of your mana. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cast Exorcism really quick. 24k mana brought me down to about, uh, what's that, 4k, 3 about 7k mana to use it. Now, if you're one of those tanks that just stands in front of the boss and pulls, that's fine, but I, that's not what I do. So you can choose to go ahead and do what I do in the beginning, except just hit Exorcism instead of, you know, running in. Since you can't actually use Exorcism, let me see, as you're running in. No, can't use it. Yeah, that should be standing still, not doing anything. So let's start our rotation again. See, and this is what kind of kills me a bit, is that people say that Paladin tanking is so face roll, it's so easy. But it's really not, if you really think about maxing out your threat and maxing out your DPS and maxing out your tanking abilities in a fight, because you have to always be aware of your Grand Crusader procs, of your Sacred Duty procs. You have to actually manage your Holy Power Points properly in a manner that you will maximize yourself as a player. Uh, people who talk about face roll, maybe they're talking about PvP, maybe they're talking about Retribution, uh, but not as Protection Paladins. Um, I actually believe, I honestly do believe that, believe that Protection Paladin... Um, takes a lot more thought um, into maximizing than the other tank classes at the moment. Um, and I'm showing you that firsthand right here. So let's go ahead and start again with the single target tanking rotation. Popping wings, going in there with an Avenger shield. Bam, look at that, a lucky sacred duty proc. Here we go, again. As you can see there, what did I do? I completely ignored Judgment. Why? Because Judgment doesn't give me an extra holy power point. Crusader strike, I mean uh, Avenger shield, Grand Crusader does. So we're going to keep going here. Crusader Strike. Avenger Shield. Crusader Strike. Oh, Avenger Shield again because it procced. And then Shield of the Righteous. So don't worry about the guys. I tell you right now. Don't be dumb. Do not fish for that Sacred Duty proc. It will come. Trust me. The Sacred Duty proc will come to you. It will not be that big of a deal. Judgment. Crusader Strike. Avenger Shield. Crusader Strike. Shield of the Righteous. Crusader Strike. Judgment. 
Crusader Strike. Holy Wrath. We're going to do one more Grand Crusader proc. Crusader Strike. Shield of the Righteous. So it's basically Grand Crusader whenever it's up. Avenger Shield prioritize over Judgment. Crusader Strike. Here we go. Bam. Two straight Holy Power point generators one after another with a Shield of the Righteous plus a Sacred Duty proc. So that basically covers single target tanky rotation. If you have any questions and, and you need clarification, by all means, ask me. But the main point I'm trying to make is do not fish Sacred Duty procs. It will come to you because you have two methods to get it. Whenever you hit Crusader Strike, always watch out to see if Grand Crusader procs because you want that free Holy Power generator instead of having to wait a whole nother global cooldown to generate it. Basically, you're saving all you're saving your Shield of the Righteouses by a global cooldown is what you're doing when Grand Crusader procs and it gives you that extra Holy Power, which is good. Like I said, it gives us a faster Shield of the Righteous crit. Uh, it, or excuse me, it makes us get to the Shield of the Righteous crit faster and it also generates more threat uh, throughout the course of a fight, more damage for us. So let's go ahead and... Okay, what the fuck was that? <laughs> let's go ahead and get into AoE tanking. Now, AoE tanking, folks, has not changed at all besides the fact, once again, that you want to watch after you hit Hammer of the Righteous to make sure of your Grand Crusader procs. So basically, the rule of thumb for me for AoE tanking is I want to go into every mob with three Holy Power Points. Why? Because you have to use Inquisition when you AoE tank. Why? Because Inquisition does the following. Let's go ahead and read that for you guys. Consumes all Holy Power to increase your Holy Damage by 30% last four seconds per charge of Holy Power. So when you have three Holy Power Points and you hit Inquisition, you will get 12 seconds of 30% more Holy Damage, which is basically the basis of our damage as Paladin Tanks. So let's say we're in a Heroic. Um, I'm going to pop Wings and give me Holy Power. I'm going to pop my Inquisition, and I should have gotten the 12 seconds. Uh, it's up there, but here, there's nine seconds left. And I'm just going to get my... Um, which I'm going to call it Inquisition of the Three Holy Power Points again. Let's start over. Um, okay, so I'm going to hit Inquisition. Bam, 12 seconds. You're going to run in. You would normally... Actually, we're going to wait the full time. Let me get my... I want to I want to wait for Avenger Shield because you want to pull with Avenger Shield most of the time and then Hammer of the Righteous. Or you could also start with Hammer of the Righteous and then Avenger Shield. Uh, basically, whichever one is... It doesn't much matter. So here we go. Before you go into tanking a mob, you hit Inquisition. You run in. Avenger Shield. Hammer of the Righteous. Holy Wrath, Grand Crusader proc, hit that again. Hammer of the Righteous, Inquisition, Hammer of the Righteous, Grand Crusader proc again, Hammer of the Righteous. Now, here's a, here's a dilemma. We have three Holy Power Points, but we also had four seconds left on Inquisition. So what you want to do is you don't want to actually hit Inquisition yet. All right, You want to make the most out of the whole entire duration of your Inquisition. Uh, I mean, you can choose to refresh it, that's fine, but you will get more damage by actually waiting till your Inquisition is about to go off and then refreshing it. So let's uh, let's start off again. Let's, let me get three Holy Power Points. Uh, and like I said, that's just a goal. You, you can just start off with an Avenger Shield and generate your Holy Power, but I like to go, like before I tank the last mob of a pack and before I go to the next pack, I want to always have three Holy Power Points. So let's go ahead and hit Inquisition. Let's hit our, there we go, Hammer of the Righteous, Holy Wrath, because Holy Wrath is an AoE ability, Hammer of the Righteous, uh, Hammer of the Righteous, um, Inquisition, Hammer of the Righteous, Judgment, if you want to get some mana back, Hammer of the Righteous, and um, you, if you're Consecration spec, then by all means go for your Consecration, but basically the, the method for AoE tanking is Hammer of the Righteous whenever it's up, because that will do the most damage. And um, whenever you're tanking more than three mobs, Consecration and Holy Wrath are a priority over Avenger Shield. Whereas if you're only tanking three mobs, Avenger Shield, three to four mobs, Avenger Shield is more of a priority over Holy Wrath and Consecration. Hit Judgment just to get your mana back because you don't really want to go Oom. So uh, we're going to do this again. We're going to pop our wings. We're going to get Inquisition up. For some reason, it's not showing, but it'll show once I start hitting. Here we go. And that's it. Hammer of the Righteous. Holy Wrath. Hammer of the Righteous, Consecration, uh, Hammer of the Righteous, I'm, I'm Oom, <laughs> I'm not specced into it, that's why, so um, let me switch to the yeah, Avseal Insight, and that's basically it, AoE tanking is pretty easy, uh, a, a lot of the problems with AoE tanking with most Paladins is that they do not know what Inquisition is, they just go in there and they Hammer of the Righteous over and over again, haha, -ha, I'm doing a lot of damage, no really you're not. 
So let's try it one more time. Let's go ahead and hit um, Inquisition. You go in with an Avenger Shield, Hammer of the Righteous, Holy Wrath, Hammer of the Righteous. Let's go ahead and hit Judgment against the Mana Back, Hammer of the Righteous, Inquisition, still going, and now refresh it. Bam, there we go. Now we're in a rhythm here. Judgment, Hammer of the Righteous, Holy Wrath, Hammer of the Righteous, Judgment, Refresh. You have three. Hammer of the Righteous, Avenger Shield, Hammer of the Righteous, Judgment, Hammer of the Righteous, Holy Wrath. You still have two seconds left. Now pop in and refresh it. And there we go. And that's basically how you do your AoE tanking rotation as a Paladin tank. So when you're tanking in Heroics or in Raids, always just have inquisition up at least try to have inquisition up 100 percent of the time while you're tanking because that will just generate more threat it will do more holy damage and it will you know save your healers a lot of trouble so basically that's pretty much it for single target tanking rotation and aoe tanking rotation um i know that after i explain it people are going to be like what the fuck was tally talking about and that's just another point of mine you know to prove that paladin tanking isn't as face roll and easy as people make it out to be there's def diff uh, excuse me definitely a lot of situational uh, differences between paladin tanking, uh, warrior tanking, DK, and bear tanking. But with paladin tanking, you actually have to be aware of your procs, of your um, sacred duty procs, your grand crusader procs, how you how you manage and generate your holy power. Um, can you face roll as a paladin tank? Yes, you can, of course, because you have vengeance, and vengeance will give you more damage no matter what. But if you actually want to maximize your paladin tanking and have a lot of threat and the most damage out of all the tanks, Excuse me. Then you definitely want to, you know, demonstrate to your guild or to your friends and spread the word about what I've uh, talked to you about in this video. I need coffee so bad. <laughs> but um, this has been Tally with TGN TV. Oh, and also, uh, ooh, I was gonna finish up there, but let me show you guys. This is my new Word of Glory Power Aura. Uh, since it's twenty second now, twenty seconds now, I actually made a Power Aura. Or actually, you could thank Arlen from. Uh, hallowed ground. What server is he on? I'm gonna say Wild Hammer. I think I think Hallowed Ground's a Wild Hammer. They're like 12 or 13 hard mode. Um, he helped me out with this um, Word of Glory uh, Power Aura. I was trying to work on it myself and I couldn't. Uh, I was getting it backwards. But here we go. I'm gonna pop Word of Glory. It gives me a Power Aura, telling me that there's 18, 16, 17, whatever seconds left until Word of Glory is available again, which is good while you're Paladin tanking, so you know when you can queue it up for when you need it for an actual like big boss ability. But as I was saying, Tally with TGN.TV, HolyShield.com is my personal website. Tally.com slash, excuse me, Tally.com. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Tally. Is Tally.com slash taken? Or is Tally.com taken? Someone check that out. Uh, Facebook.com slash Tally. Become a fan of my page. Um, Twitter.com slash Tally the Tank. Whenever I post on Twitter, it posts on Facebook. So whichever one you want to become a part of, whichever one you like. I personally like Twitter more than any of them, but some people don't like Twitter. I like to tweet. I'm a tweeter. I love tweeting. I love tweeting. Uh, you'll notice that most people that I follow are other Paladin tanks, so if you follow me, you'll get their news as well, and they give great information. They have podcasts and blogs and all this crazy shit. People will love it. But Tally with TGen.TV, this has been the updated version of my Protection Paladin tanking rotation video for AoE and single target tanking rotation. Peace out. Have a good one. Much love.